Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter while working with Azure Fabric Services. Our viewer is looking for a way to retrieve the name of the machine where their C-sharp code is executing within a Fabric cluster, specifically for logging purposes. They mention using Fabric Runtime, but are seeking a more effective solution. Let's dive into this challenge and explore how to get that machine name for better logging. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To get the name of the node where your code is executing in an Azure Fabric cluster, you can use the Fabric Runtime class. This class provides access to the runtime environment of your service. Next, you will want to retrieve the node name from the Fabric Runtime context. You can do this by accessing the node context property. Now let's implement this in your C-sharp code. Here's a simple example that logs the node name along with your other log information. Finally, Ensure that your logging mechanism captures this information effectively. You can integrate this logging into your existing logging framework. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get the name of the node where your code is running in Azure Fabric Service, use the node context property from the service context. This method works for both stateful and stateless services, as well as actor services. The service context also includes other useful properties for logging. For a complete example of retrieving node and service details, check out the provided GitHub repository. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To find out the name of the node where your code is running in Azure Fabric Service, you can use a simple line of code. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To find the name of the node where your code is running in Azure Fabric Service, you can use the Fabric Client. This approach is quite effective for querying service fabric information. Here's a sample code snippet to get you started. First, create a Fabric client and retrieve the application list. Then, for each application, get the services and their partitions. To specifically get the node information, you can query the node list using the Fabric Client's Query Manager. This will allow you to dive deeper into node details. For more detailed information, 
check the official documentation linked in the description. I hope this helps others facing the same question. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Bye.